Alright guys, I uh, just want to make a quick video. Um, if you have not seen my prior video about why I had the Galaxy uh, S8 and I returned it after two days, um, I said in that video I was pissed off at Apple. I was definitely not getting the 8 uh, because that was not enough of an upgrade. Um, but I'm having problems with my 7 and I'm on the next 12 month program so fuck it, why not trade it in on a different phone. Um, some of the problems I'm having, the microphone cuts out a lot. I've been having problems with this thing since like day one. Um, just been too lazy to get to the Apple store and do the run around. I, I went back and forth with them a few times and just said, screw it, I'm going to be trading it in soon anyway. Um, so the next logical step was going with the 10. Um, I said I was not going to do it, but uh, whatever. I ran into a little bit extra money uh, that I had to play around with, so I figured, screw it, why not get it? I'll go on the two-year upgrade um, cycle for this. Um, and just play around with this for two years and see how it goes. Um, so the main reason why I'm making this video is because AT&T fucked me hard on this order. Um, I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning with everybody, tried to order this thing, uh, went on Apple's website on the app. I had three, four devices going to see which one came up first. And the on my iPad was the only... Uh, device that I was able to get the website up on and get my order through. Um, even though I saved everything a week ahead of time, my credit card information, everything was saved, got on the app, nothing was saved, bing, bang, boom, get through, ran through the order, uh, I think it was maybe 12 after, 13 after, 3 East Coast time, was able to get the order done. Um, and for some reason I got like a 17th to 24th time frame or something like that to ship it which was kind of bullshit because I was like on there like as quick as that app came up. Something didn't seem right. Um, but while I let that in the background, I let it fester for a couple minutes and was like, whatever, it is what it is. And then I get a bing in the background from the AT&T site uh, that was just gonna let me into it. I was in queue for, I don't know, whatever. It was 15 minutes at that point, 20 minutes. So I figured, what the hell? Let me see if I can get it on AT&T's website. I'll see if I get a launch day phone go through everything. I wanted the 256 gig uh, white or silver model, whatever you call it, it's white to me. But I wanted the 256 gig silver model and uh, the order went through. Went through fine, got a order number and everything looked great. Uh, next morning, not even next morning, a couple hours later, I waited for the eight, uh, Apple order to come through, canceled that order just to make sure there was not gonna be an issue. I've done this in the past. I'm not the only person in the United States that have placed two orders and canceled one of them. So did this in the past, no issues, or what I thought was no issues. And here is what I got. Um, and even still to this minute is still what it shows on my AT&T order. So you can see order placed in progress, order number, which I blanked out, date November 3rd. I thought everything was great. A couple hours later, I get a message like this says, hello, you know, your order, don't want your order canceled, call us at blah, blah, blah. Um, so I started to get worried. I found out that this number is actually just for a Uverse account, or a Uverse customer service phone number. Um, they couldn't help me. It was a big back and forth. Um, I eventually got somebody said, don't worry about it. It's an error from the system. So I said, okay, uh, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. About two hours later, I then get this email that says, hello, thank you for your order. Sorry, we couldn't complete it. Uh, yada 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 call us if you don't call us by the 10th we're canceling your order uh, <clears throat> so again I call back in and this is where the problem started I got so much runaround from AT&T customer service um, not even so much just customer service but the e-com support uh, I'm getting connected to I don't know what it was Malaysia or uh, someplace in the Philippines and I got every excuse under the sun. I got five different people said there's no problems with the order. Another five people said the order didn't process properly and I'd have to cancel it and start over. And I said I did not want to do that because uh, it was going to put me in the back of the line. By that point in the morning, shit was already like mid-December or something like that. So I did not want to do that because I was getting a launch day phone. And just for the fact that when you call these places, um, you can tell that they're reading off of a cue card in the background, and that does not make me feel uh, very good. 
I don't trust somebody's opinion that's reading off of a cue card right here. I mean, every single thing that I said, they had an exact rebuttal. And everybody I talked to said the exact same thing. Don't you worry, sir. I understand how frustrating this can be. I will solve your problem. And not a single one of those fucking people can solve my problem. Um, anybody that knows me knows I'm a very persistent person. Uh, if you force me to be an asshole, I will be an asshole. Uh, I wasted a lot of time on the phone with AT&T support over that entire week. I got so fed up by, let's say Wednesday, I was 20 plus calls in asking for escalations, yada, 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 getting a run around. I've had people on the phone crumbling paper and saying, oh, sir, we can't hear you. We can't hear you and disconnecting the phone call on me. Uh, people saying that they were supervisors, weren't really supervisors getting on the phone. Um, just a whole lot of run around. So I got the shits of this. Uh, by let's say Wednesday afternoon and I found the uh, contact information for the president of AT&T so I emailed the president of AT&T and said you need to know about this get out of here please <clears throat> thank you uh, so I said that you need to know about these kind of support issues um, I get a call from joy uh, by, I said I'm canceling my account all five of my lines at the end of business day today, which was Wednesday, if I do not get a phone call back. <clears throat> so about 8 o'clock that night Eastern, Joy from the president's office calls me says, what's going on? I said, look, you know, I'm pissed off about the level of service you guys have. I've screwed around. I got 25 phone calls on you guys at this point. Nobody can give me a solid answer. Am I getting a phone on November 3rd or am I not getting a phone on November 3rd? I still have it. And even to this day, it's, it's Sunday, which is the 5th. Uh, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon, and my order still says arriving on November 3rd. So I should tell you something was fucked up there. Um, she assured me that there was an issue with the ordering system. Uh, everything was fine. Everything she could see was fine. The phone was gonna be here on November 3rd. And I said, you know, can I get your word for that? Yes, you got my word for that. Everything looks fine. I said, okay, you know, we'll see tomorrow. I should be getting tracking information by that Thursday. Um, so I let it go. I felt like, you know, she was taking care of me and everything was fine. So roll on Thursday morning. I didn't get a message early in the morning that I got tracking number. So I started getting upset again. Call in. This bitch ain't calling me back. I'm calling, 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 calling. She ain't calling me back. Contact the customer service again. And again, went through the runaround. Spoke with a supervisor. Said, oh, you know, your phone's going to be there. We don't send out tracking numbers. We don't change the order status from in progress to whatever until the phone releases on that Friday which I call bullshit on because I've pre-ordered every phone since like before. So I know what the process is. I knew something was going on, but they guaranteed me a phone. This guy guaranteed me a phone too. Um, so we fast forward to, you know, four o'clock on that Thursday. I still don't have a tracking number. So I messaged Joy one more time and, and, and left her a voicemail. I said, if you do not call me within the next hour, I'm canceling all my lines. I'm keeping all the phones I don't give a shit. I was in just like self-destruct mode at that point. And I definitely would have canceled that account. Um, I was in a position where I was going to pay off all the phones that were on Next right then and there uh, and, and just walk over to Verizon just over principal. And I did not mention the point where I actually went down to the AT&T store and almost strangled somebody down there too because they, they played me like I was stupid. Uh, they didn't want to help me. They didn't see an order. They said, sorry, but, you know, you need to go to Apple. Well, why do I need to go to Apple? <laughs> I got an account with AT&T. I ordered through AT&T. So I got pissed off that they wasted my time down there. They told me they could help me. Told them what the story was, and then basically they told me to go fuck myself. So I left. Um, <clears throat> you know, fast forward to this phone call about 4 o'clock from Joy at the president's office. Um, she started to get combative at that point, and, and things kind of went downhill from there. Um, I hung up on the phone on her before I had a chance to scream at her. Um, but she told me she just got an email notification from her IT department right as she called me stating that the whole time she was wrong. Uh, there was a problem with the order and somebody on their end reset my upgrade eligibility that messed up my order. And then she started turning around a little bit saying that I caused the problem. Uh, by placing the order with Apple and then canceling it and replacing an order with AT&T. Am I partial to blame? Yeah, 
Um, but I've done this in the past, no issues. I cancel the order before they even have a chance to process. They usually get like a 24 hour processing time, something like that, 12 hours. Um, so I hit it before that time, I thought. But apparently when I called in a customer service the first time, they must have done something, screwed with the account, and that's why the status never changed this whole time. Again, we're on Sunday, it still shows in process and that I was supposed to receive it Friday. Um, so she went on to say it was my problem, I caused the problem, uh, they tried to help me, and, and the reason why I'm not getting a phone is because you know something I did, uh, which at that point I was boiling, I was already boiling way before that, but to basically tell me that, you know, go kick rocks, you caused the problem, so when you called us, we tried to help you out, and then that's when the problem began. So something they did that I didn't know about fucked up that order. So I got pissed and I said, you know, what are you willing to do to help me out? You say you're sorry, but you know, what can you do? Can you figure out a way to get me that phone? Escalate something, do something. You promised me a phone all week. We could have fixed this shit that Friday, but you guys went all the way up until Thursday, end of the business day, telling me there's no problems or there's conflicting information and I was getting a phone. So I was pissed. She said, no, sorry, we can't do that. I said, you're not willing to do anything. And she said, uh, you know, nothing I'll be able to do will please you. You want a phone. I said, well, if I'm not getting a phone, do something else to please me. I have whatever, uh, nine payments left on my, on, on my phone. Pay off the remainder of the phone. I paid extra for a 12 month upgrade that we're almost 14 months in at this point and I'm not getting a phone. She didn't want to do anything. She basically told me to kick rocks, whatever. I was pissed off. I hung up the phone before I got nasty. Um, <clears throat> That Friday, I took off of work. Um, I was going to look at F-150s. I'm going to pick up a new vehicle. So I already had off of work for the launch phone. It didn't happen, so whatever. I was going to go look at trucks. Um, on the way out there, I found a Best Buy, a couple Targets, stopped in a couple places just to see if they happened to have any phones because it was early in the morning. They said they weren't even getting phones. They didn't know. You know nobody knew anything. So whatever. I went around my business, uh, looked at trucks, You know, came home. Um, and then all day Saturday, you know, I didn't really think much of it. I looked on a couple websites, everybody was out of stock. I was like, whatever, I'm not getting one. So fast forward to this morning, <clears throat> I go on Mac Rumors and I see a link that says Apple stores, you know, are now putting out links to say they have stock. So I said, ah, you know, why not? Let's see what's, let's see what happens. So this was like, uh, I don't know, uh, 9.30 this morning, uh, went on the Apple website configured my 256 gig silver phone AT&T and then uh, did the search stores. Boom, it comes up that there's one at uh, Park City Mall, the Apple store, which is 35, 40 miles away from me. So yeah, let's see what happens, you know. Maybe this is too good to be true. Process through the order, <clears throat> paid for it, said here's your order number. 10 minutes later, I get your phones ready for pickup. And I was like, holy shit, you know, this actually went through. Um, so yeah, needless to say, I got my phone. Uh, drove about 35, 40 miles or so, got my phone. Got my 256 gig. Uh, and you guys can see my name whenever everybody knows who I am. Pietro Um 256 gig silver uh, iPhone 10 on AT&T. Um, did not unwrap the box uh, just because I did not want to deactivate my phone yet. Um, so I'm gonna make this as much of an unboxing as possible. Um, I know you guys have seen a billion unboxing videos so far, um, but this one's a little bit different with some backstory. So I asked the guy, uh, when I went to go pick it up, I said, you know, I was surprised to get one of these today. I thought these things were out. And he said, yeah, you know, um, we've had some pre-orders. If people don't pick up their pre-orders in 24 hours, uh, you know, their orders were canceled and they make these available. So I got the only one there today. Um, and I haven't even touched one, I haven't seen one, I haven't had time to do anything. Uh, I just want to get in and out of the store because my wife is not very patient. Um, so I'm going to get this unboxed. Uh, we're going to go through, and I think i got a little bit of life left on the battery. Uh, we'll go through and do this. So again, I have not seen one of these other than seeing uh, other people's videos. Um, again, box as normal. 256 gigs, serial number, yada, yada, yada. That's all the shit you guys have seen already. Um, I've been excited to see something without a home button. I don't know how good the Face ID is going to work. I was going to hold off for this. Um, but, you know, whatever. The timing worked out good because I was having problems with my 7. Um, also, I said if they came out at the last phone with 7, they had the gloss black. I said if they come out with a gloss white, I am buying gloss white phone. And... Uh, you know, they call it silver, but to me, 
that is gloss white so that's the main reason why I picked this up. I wanted a white phone again for a while. I hated how the white had the, uh, the white strips up top and bottom before. Um, so this is kind of what I wanted. So you can see it's got a nice gloss finish around the edges. Nice gloss white background. And um, I just did a backup on my uh, 7 uh, a little bit before I started this. So I'm not going to go through the full setup, but we'll maybe get this booted up again. Look how nice that is. Nice stainless steel edges. Uh, I'm still not a fan of the camera bump. Um, uh, I don't know, man. I, I kind of wish they would have did this like the 4 to 4S where they did the camera inset into the frame. You see how much that sticks up. Um, Thickness-wise, this feels about the same as my 7. Uh, I'll go grab my 7 real quick here. All right, so size-wise compared to my 7, a uh, little bit thicker. I don't know how much you can see there between there. A little bit thicker, a uh, little bit taller. Um, so I can do this without scratching these up. A little bit bigger overall. Um, so size-wise, pretty comparable. Um, just a little bit on the bigger side. So we're going to boot this thing up. And Apple logo. Let me see uh, next to my 7 there. So you can see you get the difference of size if you haven't touched one in hand yet. Uh, you can see the difference in thickness hopefully between the two. Um, assuming it's a up gesture. Yes, we're in the United States. Oh, so apparently we can go through and do the uh, uh, quick start. I may actually try that. I'm going to come back. Obviously you guys don't want to see my password, uh, so I'll be back in a few. Alright, so you can see the uh, phones okay position this image in the frame of your other phone all right i can't do that without looking at them uh what the fuck am i doing oh dir i gotta take a picture of it all right finding new iphone uh you're not gonna see my code See what this does. I've never tried this before. Uh, I guess it's going to activate. I don't know if it's going to pull over any pictures, contacts, any of that stuff. Uh, we'll see what it does. I don't think I've seen any videos of anybody doing this yet. Uh, could not activate iPhone, probably because my other one's still activated. Let's see what it does. My guess is because the 7 is still, you guys don't want to see my phone number. And I'm just going to punch in my information because that's for billing zip code and my social security number. Uh, use the last four of your social security number as well as your AT&T billing zip code. All right, so uh, do my wife's social security number because the account is under her name. We'll see if it's going to activate. I've seen any videos on this portion of it before uh, so hopefully this is a value add for somebody seeing how this goes <clears throat> all right so we're gonna do face ID That's it. Face ID is done.
guess it does a second time. Second face scan complete. Uh, so you can see there, face ID is now set up. And again, you guys don't want to see that information. get it to the point where it doesn't show my um, personal information anymore. Um, we're going to do restore from an iTunes backup here in a minute. All right. So, like I said, I already did my iTunes backup a little bit ago. I'll plug this in through my lightning cable and I got like 40 gigs of music in here so this is probably going to take a little bit of time. <clears throat> Restore from my backup that was today at 229. You see it's 303 now. Uh, terms and conditions. I'm just going to hit accept there. Uh, hopefully, Apple does not come to me and try and do like a human centipede thing like South Park. Uh, could not restore phone because the backup was corrupt or incompatible. What the fuck? Why does this do this shit? Um, I did just uh, restore an operating system on this PC a couple weeks ago. Um, I just did, I, I restored all my backups. This thing's all fucked up. Uh, so we'll come back in a little bit. I'll let you know what my progress was. So currently I am still trying to figure out how to restore from a backup. I keep on getting an error message that uh, backup was corrupt or different phone or something like that. Um, I don't know why it would give me that error. I've always been able to do a restore from backup before. Uh, so I got to do a little bit of research. Um, you see my iPhone 7 is uh, doing an update right now. I just want to make sure they're on the same update level. Uh, but just for reference, here's a 5S next to a 7, next to a 10. Uh, just give you an update or give you an idea size-wise uh, what the difference is between the three just in case uh, you have not seen them side by side. Uh, so I'm going to let that firmware update run. I'm going to try and do another backup and then another restore and hopefully I can get some of my stuff back. Um, more so just app settings and stuff like that. Um, music that I, I can always get back easily. Uh, pictures. Uh, I accidentally dumped all my pictures off of my 7 um, when I did my S8 upgrade and screw that all up. So I'm going to have to sync some of those folders and get some of that stuff back up there. Because uh, I do have some really cool pictures of my cars and pictures of the family and stuff like that that I use to post Instagram, Facebook. Uh, so I want to get some of that stuff back so I do have some record of that stuff instead of being on my computer that I don't use. Uh, so I'm going to try and mess around with that more and we'll be back. Alright, so I finally got my uh, iPhone 10 to restore from my backup of my iPhone 7. Uh, I got frustrated, called Apple. And right in the middle of trying to explain it to them, they don't understand why somebody wants to back up to a PC via iTunes instead of doing it via the cloud. So I just said, screw it. I hung up. I figured it out. Um, got everything all updated. Uh, software updated. Carrier settings updated. I uh, was able to get my pictures back. I found a hack uh, out on the web to get my pictures back into my camera roll. Uh, I know some people may think that sounds kind of retarded, uh, but I do not like syncing uh, selecting pictures or uh, going in iTunes and selecting a folder in my iTunes uh, to sync pictures to my phone. So what I did was I found a hack that you can sync selected pictures to your phone via folder, get it into the uh, separate album, go into that album on the phone, select all, and do the uh, up arrow, select like where you're going to share, do the share option, and do duplicate. And what that does is that actually creates a duplicate in your camera roll and then also keeps the originals on that extra album. So then when you plug your phone back into iTunes, uh, you unselect the option to sync pictures and sync that folder and then it will remove 
that um, other folder, that other album, keep everything in your camera roll. The only thing with that is it will not uh, retain the original, uh, like the timestamps, and put it in any kind of order in your camera roll. It will throw them uh, down at the bottom of your camera roll and the newest being up top as to what you already took with that phone or restored from backup. Um, so far, I haven't played with the phone too much yet. Uh, Face ID, eh, I mean, it's gonna take some getting used to. Um, there is definitely a little bit more lag and not as, uh, like I say, not as user friendly, but um, it's definitely not what Touch ID was. I do have my qualms with Touch ID uh, because if you have any kind of sweat on your fingers, if your fingerprints aren't very well pronounced, um, Touch ID can be a pain in the ass. Uh, Face ID is a little bit slower, but it does seem to have picked up every time so far for me. I have done simple ones as just going like this, waiting for it to wake up, and it unlocked that quick. Um, I guess we'll test it. That's not unlocking. That unlocked. So you can't do it down at this angle. you got to at least be at a, like a 45 degree angle for it to unlock. Um, that extra step on the swipe up is a little bit of a pain. Uh, but I'll take a, a week or so mess around with it before I send my 7 back just to make sure I'm convinced uh, that it works good. Um, other than that, fit and finish feels good. Um, with it being a glossy back, you do get a lot of fingerprints. It's just, it is what it is. You're going to get fingerprints on any phones like that. Um, everything else feels good. Uh, I'll take, uh, like I said, a couple weeks to play around with it, and uh, I will post an updated video. Uh, this is one last fuck you to AT&T for fucking my order up, uh, but I was able to uh, get my phone, uh, although two days late I was able to get what I wanted and, and make it work, so in the end it works out, I just had to put more work in, so uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys later.